SIA Workload Automation DE provides distributed job scheduling and workload management across the enterprise. In this video, we will learn how to view cross application dependencies for a selected job. The cross application dependencies view provides a greater visibility into job dependencies across all application generations. Suppose that you have an application with a critical job that is not running. We help you identify all the dependent jobs and application generations that are impacting the critical job. You can also take necessary actions on the identified jobs at runtime. This feature is supported in both the desktop and web clients. For this demonstration, we will use the desktop client. Let's see the first use case, where an external job is stuck in the pred wait state. For example, if the application, inventory management.2 has the external job, stock level in the pred wait state. You can view the dependent application where its home job is not yet completed, by right clicking on the job and selecting cross application dependencies. The cross application dependencies graph appears in a new tab. The graph shows that home application, inventory control.2 has the job named sales in the agent down state, and is impacting the home job. To make your external job run, you can view the details of the sales job and fix the issue in the home application. Optionally, you can also force complete the job at runtime by right clicking and issuing the complete command. The cross application dependencies graph is a static view. When you issue a command against a job in the static view, the job status does not take effect in this view. To verify the current status of the job, you need to open the corresponding application generation. Note that the status of the job has changed from agent down to complete. Let's move back to the graph. You can collapse and expand an application by double clicking on the application box. You must have the appropriate APPLX permission to view the dependent jobs in an application. If you do not have the permission, the corresponding application appears in a collapsed view. By default, a graph can have a maximum of 1,200 dependent jobs and application generations, including the links connecting them. Let's move on to the second use case, where a job is stuck in the APPL wait state. Suppose that the application, Backup.2 has the DB services job in the APPL wait state. You can view the previous application generations that are impacting this job. The cross application dependencies graph shows that the previous application generation, Backup.1 has the IT services job in the agent down state, and is preventing its successors from running. The last use case is about a job that is stuck in the jank wait state. Let's consider that the application generation, payroll.6 has the gross pay job in the jank wait state. You can view the previous application generations, where the same job is not yet completed. The cross application dependencies graph shows that the previous application generation, payroll.5 has the gross pay job in the sub bearer state, and is impacting its successors from running. In this video, we have learned how to view cross application dependencies for a selected job. For more information about this feature, see the SIA Workload Automation DE documentation. 